Japanese entertainment has become extremely popular over the past few years in the West as people have shifted away from supporting Hollywood and they've been looking for other forms of entertainment and now a Disney Plus Japanese exec is admitting the anime industry is making a shift towards more acceptable expressions in order to appeal to wider global audiences. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, there is a good reason why so many people have shifted away from supporting the mainstream Western world of entertainment like Hollywood and why we've gone to supporting Korean and Japanese entertainment, things like manga and anime because they just offer a different experience, a good experience not filled with political narratives. But unfortunately, now we have Japanese executives admitting that the anime industry is internally shifting to appeal to wider audiences, which of course is not going to work. All you are going to do is push away the audience you already have and the people who already love the content that is being created. It says, in finally giving confirmation to the bitter truth that many fans of the medium already knew, it the Disney Plus Jap Japan boss uh, has admitted that the wider anime industry is actively attempting to change its core identity in an attempt to make the medium more appealing to global audiences, particularly those located in the Western world. Now, it's been very clear that this shift has been slowly happening, that we've seen a lot new of new series come out and then be more toned down, then be just a little bit more bland. And of course, we have to deal with all of the localization controversies, but hearing this be admitted is so sad for me, and I know so many of you, because this is exactly what we did not want to happen. It says, to the disbelief of many fans, the House of Mouse's entry into the anime business has admittedly surpassed expectations, and of course it would be Disney. Of course, they've already screwed up Hollywood in the Western world, of entertainment, so they needed to find another target, and they needed to set their sights on another industry to screw up. It says launching an anime-only streaming service hub named Disney Plus Star in October 2021, the entertainment conglomerate has since outpaced some of their more established rivals in inquiring an impressive and popular catalog of exclusive content, including Bleach launching. It says launching an anime-only streaming hub named Disney Plus Star in October 2021, the entertainment conglomerate has since outpaced some of their more established rivals in acquiring an impressive and popular catalog of exclusive content like Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, Ranger Reject, Sandland the Series, which of course is just getting a video game, and having overseen the service's continued growth ever since its inception, he was extremely informed on the current state of the overall anime industry and now he's coming out and actually talking about the industry. He decided to reveal that a few years ago, the North American market was growing, so we focused on storytelling that would be well-received in North America. In Asia, a different genre was being received, and we as creators were conscious of the fact that we had to focus on domestic, North American, and Asian markets. Now, however, the same fun and excitement can be experienced at the same time in any region. That is how common Japanese animation has become around the world. What we thought was for the Japanese Japanese market is now accepted in all regions, and I believe that market has matured to that extent, and I would agree, you are not creating content for just one market, and you shouldn't be. You should be creating the content that your creatives feel passionate about making, and that you think will ultimately sell. Now, of course, we get into murky waters when we hear about trying to appeal to global audiences and how that has been their focus for a couple of years at this point, that originally they were focused on storytelling that would be well received in North America specifically, which of course means toned down violence and sexual themes and all of these different things that of course we as consumers should be able to consume. There should be no problem with that as long as of course you are creating this content and you're being honest about what 
it entails and you're not saying, oh, well, yeah, it's for kids as well when it clearly isn't, then there should be absolutely no problem in creating this. And sadly, that is just not the mindset of a lot of executives overseas anymore. They are worried about making content specifically for, in this case, North American audiences in the Western world because they want everything to appeal to a global audience, again, which really just means toned down content. Now, of course, however, despite the industry's growing focus on Western audiences, he did attempt to assure the outlet that when it came to which works to distribute on Disney Plus Star, his main concern was that the given anime provide uh, viewers with a worthwhile story. I want to reiterate that our primary focus is on the best of storytelling. We don't have a specific genre or style of work in mind, and since our service is viewed by a diverse audience, we don't focus on any particular genre. And and I think that is what is so amazing about Japanese entertainment is that you can find all different sorts of stories. No matter what you're looking for, it is out there and it exists. And this is the problem with Hollywood and, you know, the Western world of entertainment right now. Everything is very one note, very bland, very blah. And that's why so many people have decided to shy away from Hollywood in favor of things like manga and anime, but we also had recently heard the Kung Fu Panda 4 co-director actually say that Hollywood execs totally see the influence and impact anime has had on the world, but still think that audiences don't like these kind of stories. So we're talking about a lot of different executives for companies like Disney not understanding um, what people actually want and what actually sells. Yeah, they say they see the influence influence and impact anime has had on the world, but they still are not getting it through their thick skulls that this is the direction that they should be going in, that these are, um, you know, the kinds of stories that audiences want to consume. I did recently talk about this in another video, but it says in what may go down as perhaps one of the most baffling revelations to ever come out of the modern animation industry, the Kung Fu Panda 4 co-director Stephanie Ma Stein has alleged that while Hollywood execs are fully aware of the influence and impact that anime has had across the globe, they still refuse to take any lessons from the medium due to their own bizarre belief that audiences don't like these kinds of stories, which of course is absolutely absurd. Uh, notably and unfortunately, as many an anime fan can attest to, this dismissive attitudes towards anime is not a sentiment unique to Hollywood, but rather a common one held through much of the West's various entertainment industries. Of course, we've seen former Power Ranger EPs advocating for the franchise to abandon its roots in order to appeal to a wider audience, to DC and Marvel writer uh, Conway accusing manga of having a rampant sexism and misogyny problem due to its regular featuring of attractive female characters. And this right here is the issue appealing to wider audiences. By trying to appeal to everyone, you're really appealing to no one. And this is what these Japanese Disney Plus execs are going to have to learn, these DreamWork executives are going to have to learn that if you try to appeal to everyone, you're really appealing to no one. And it is sad as an anime and a manga fan to see this happen time and time and time again, because the anime industry does have so much good going for it. But when we hear a shift towards more acceptable expressions, what I really hear is they are going to be changing the content that is is coming out of this region and the type of content that we as consumers are going to be you know buying and supporting going forward it is sad to hear yet again more people admit that the industry is shifting in order to appeal to wider audiences and of course this doesn't sound very surprising but it is still pretty sad but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.